Yo guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another video. Here, right here on... Oh, oh wrong side. Oh, bollocks. This is just fucked up. Nasher vlogs. Anyway, today's video is a video I've been... I've had in the planning stages for around about just... Maybe just over a year now. And I finally wanted to do this video. Finally. So over the next, what, 10, maybe 20 minutes, we're going to be talking about what happened to a vlog star that was on this channel. He stopped being on the channel. He didn't want anything to do with it. What happened next? And the behind the scenes secrets of what went on when the camera wasn't rolling with this vlog star. Welcome. To Tyler Vlogs Exposed. We're going to be talking about everyone's least favourite vlog star on the channel, which was Tyler. So sit back, relax, as we're going to be delving deep into what happened after Tyler left National Vlogs. So let's go back, way back to August 2018. When Tyler made his first appearance on YouTube, on Ryan the National Vlogs, in a video called Tyler vs. Southampton Shirt on August 22nd, 2018. We're going to sort of tell you about this. So Ryan met this kid called Tyler. Apparently he had been a fan of the channel for a while and he wanted to you know, be friends. So... Ryan met with Tyler first, you know, it, I didn't get to see Tyler until like August because I didn't know who this bastard was at the time. And when he came onto my channel, he changed it from a blog slash theme park sort of channel into a sort of copycat of everyone else sort of channel. So he made the channel turn into a Ben Phillips copy, a Jack Septicai copy, to an extent a PewDiePie copy, and even a Markiplier copy at one point. And even a theme park worldwide, and a Sloffy Box wannabe. Now, one of the first big problems that me, Tyler and Ryan had was in August 20. 18 and um it was when tyler and brian decided to what they thought was banter but it won it was actually straight up abuse i had an argument and pretty much tyler originally said he was going to be neutral in this beef that me and ryan had at the time but instead after this incident happened i went home and what happened was Ryan and Tyler decided at the time to do like a live stream or a video and they exposed me and they were they came up with these lies saying that apparently I did a video joking about cancer and telling people to die which is not true I would never wish death on someone in this video Within an hour, caused my subs, at the time I was like on, I think, less than 200. I think it was. Yeah. It was somewhere between 100 and 200. It made me lose 75% of my subscribers. It caused me nearly to quit a channel that I, was work I had been working on for over a year and a half, almost two years. After this... Obviously, Tyler said he was going to be neutral, but he weren't. He was backing up Ryan, and then he was backing me up, and he was constantly picking sides. And this is something that uh, Tyler did for a very, 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 very long time. Um, and then Tyler started to get into Fort Park with me. Um, and this is where all the problems started. Bigger problems started to arise. Because on the day that we filmed the Four Park Fright Nights Annual Pass Preview 2018 vlog, 
this whole day started off good, but thanks to Tyler, and I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna paint it, paint me perfect, a little bit of myself, caused one of the biggest problems ever to happen on, not just my personal life, but YouTube. I made a joke. Now on that day, uh, if, if you look at the vlog on that day, we were with quite a lot of people. Now this vlog, on the day, there was me, Life of Dills, Tyler, Leah, Sky, who didn't have a YouTube channel at, at the time, and many other people, you know, we were there, and I made a joke, which really annoyed Dylan and Leah. So that caused problems with us. Now, Tyler, later that day, we decided, you know, we were going to split off and we'd, we'd meet later. We never did. And this is because Tyler did not want to meet back up with Dylan. I don't know why. You know, and from there, Tyler then caused a problem with everyone else at that point. And a lot was said later that night. And, yeah. Then after that, that is partially the reason why that uh, annual pass vlog is the smallest, if anything, the smallest Fright Nights vlog I've done. And then from after this onwards, Tyler decided to cause even more problems. He caused problems with Ryan and myself. And in November 2018, this incident that would happen would be the biggest blip me, Ryan and Tyler had had in our whole YouTube career. It was Remembrance Day 2018. I was supposed to be doing a live stream that morning, and I overslept. Ryan and Tyler decided to meet up, and when I went to meet them in town, they once again started calling me names and giving me abuse, getting on a bus to Ryan's, and Tyler saying, I will stay on the bus and come back. Two and a half hours later, he doesn't. And starts calling me names over the phone. At this point, Tyler then told me that I could not meet up with Ryan and all that shit. So, me and Ryan did videos, but we didn't release them. That's until Ryan released the video, which caused Tyler to get angry again. Going into 2019, after an incident which caused me to be arrested happened, Tyler and his parents said we want nothing to do with you or Ryan. So that caused Tyler to now split off from not just Ryan and Nasha Vlogs, but also from Nasha Vlogs itself. And he stopped, well he, he would upload videos on YouTube and he went on to block me on all social medias. Shortly after this, Tyler got in contact with me just before the Southampton Comedy East Affair 2018, uh, 2019 and said, do you want to meet up? I met up with him and he brought one of his friends. Now at this point, in the space of maybe two, three months, Tyler had become even more of what we now call on YouTube a chappy dickhead. Straight up. And I wanted to vlog that day and I recorded a vlog. However, Tyler said, if I released the vlog, I would not be, well, he pretty much said he tried to get my YouTube channel deleted. And then after that, you know, in the background of all this, Tyler was my editor for certain videos. He edited one vlog, and the reason there isn't a Southampton Common East Affair 2019 vlog is because of him. And then after that, he blocked me again on all social medias, but apparently uh, I'd been told he had hung out with Ryan. And then in July 2019, 
I was informed that Tyler what, had been chatting shit, had been chatting stuff and saying he wanted to fight me and that he was going to knock my teeth out. This obviously then caused tension between me and Ryan again. Now, after the Southampton Common situation, Tyler created another YouTube channel called UK Rides POV and he did three videos. That channel is still up but has not been in as another video uploaded in over a year. Shortly after this, during the summer, Tyler started a brand new channel with a load of his friends called Absolute Jokes. Now the Absolute Jokes YouTube channel was begun on January 20th, 2019 and at, as of time of recording, 28th of April 2020, over a year on, the channel has 104 subscribers, but recently, just a few weeks ago, all of the videos had been deleted mysteriously. Now, at this point, I had called Tyler out on Instagram saying, what are you doing? Would you, I want to give you a second chance again. And he tried disguising himself as someone. Yeah. As of 2020, Tyler is irrelevant on YouTube again. He he really didn't last. And someone recently asked me, did Tyler succeed after leaving Nasha Vlogs on YouTube? The straight up answer is no, he failed. As soon as he left me and Ryan's channels, he lost everything. And another secret about Tyler is he actually was a bit sort of sexist towards people and he was also to an extent offensive. He took the piss out of people with Tourette's it was because he had brought subscribers. I'm not saying I'm perfect, I had brought subscribers and I know that. But yeah, where is Tyler now? Nowhere. He's got a channel that is still active but he's not uploading. So Tyler, if you're watching this, you are a dickhead. You lost everything. You had everything on YouTube and you've now lost everything. And you are now damned full time and have been named the most controversial and the most hated vlog star ever to be on National Vlogs. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you still think Tyler was a good person on any of our channels, then you clearly believe fake news. And now that you've heard the truth, I hope you really take into consideration disliking every single video that you liked about Tyler. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.